So we are here again. Um, we will start the Q&A part of the experience where I be answer answering the questions that you post in the Instagram and Facebook account. We will start. The first question is, what is the surgery? Why did you want to get the surgery? And why in Korea? The surgery is called B-line. It's a type of jaw surgery where they uh, make your bone of your jaw smaller and with a really small beeline like an anime it's really common here and it really looks very good i decided to take this surgery because i have an asymmetry in my face i have this side more white than this other side so i wanted to fix that and also have my dream jawline and i decided to do it in korea because in korea plastic surgery is really common one out of five people does plastic surgery here so that's why they have really really good professionals i decided id out of all the other clinics because they have amazing doctors amazing surgeons with a lot of prices and also do you know the show let me in well you should check it out all these people is working on here so i know i am in the best hands possible to do my dream surgery question number two who is your surgeon Actually, you can choose the surgeon here in ID Hospital. I decided for Dr. Park because he is the one who created the hospital and it was of the, it's one of the most popular overseas. Also, he was the one who uh, made the surgery of my friend Pixie Fox. So that's why I chose him to do my jawline. Question number three. Did it hurt? It is painful? Um, it's not painful at all because you are sleeping when the surgery is being done. Uh, it does hurt when you wake up, but it's just one day and every time you really, really need um, painkillers, you can just ask the nurses and it's all okay. So you will not suffer that much. Uh, it's really easy and some days uh, later you will feel great. Question number four, translators, post-operation surgery care and what kind of things the hospital offers you for the surgery? The hospital does provide you with translators and post-surgery care. Every time you need anything, you can just ask them and they will be helping you in any moment. The hospital also provides you with checkups, uh, swelling care, pills, and all the little things you will need after the surgery, like the compression headband or also the heating pads, uh, the pills that you need to take. So it is all covered up. You just have to ask. Um, they will give you all to you to have an amazing healing. Question number five. How do you care after the surgery? Do you have to take someone to help you or can you hire someone there in Korea? Well, you don't really need to hire someone in Korea. You can really take care of yourself. It is easy. Um, the first day uh, you will be in the hospital, you will be staying in the hospital and the nurses will take care of you. You just have to push a button and you will have them there. They uh, speak really good English. so. You don't have to, to worry about that. And after they give you permission to go to the hotel or stuff, you can just take care of yourself. It's really easy to do. Question number six. How many days do you have to stay? In where? How did you contact ID Hospital? Uh, I stayed in Riverside Hotel, who is, uh, which is really near the hospital. I contact the hospital by telephone, or you can also ask them anything or in Instagram or Facebook or email, they will answer all of your questions really quick. Question number seven, what's the price of the surgery? Well, it really depends on your personal case because we, everyone has a different face and everyone needs a different procedure. So I recommend you to contact the personal in the social media, send your pictures and then then they will tell you the approximate price that will cost your personal surgery. Question number seven. Can you eat solid foods? Will you be able to eat normally once healed? Uh, do you have to use brace after the surgery? Will it be able to open and close again and as normal? 
It is where if you don't eat solid foods, the solid foods, the first day after the surgery, um, the first, the first few days are I eat only soup and spaghetti. But then I started eating something like pizza and sausages or omelets, things like that. You don't need to wear braces after the surgery, at least in my case. In other case, maybe you need to use them. For the V-line, it's really not necessary, but maybe for the double chin surgery, uh, double jaw surgery, maybe you will need to wear braces. It depends on your case, your specific case. Um, the doctor will tell you if you will need it or no after the surgery. Question number eight. How long do you wear the face compression for in the day? As well as for how long after the surgery must be worn until it's no longer needed. You have to wear it for around one week or two weeks, it's okay. And, uh, but you can take it out if you really feel that you need to. Question number nine. Uh, should you return in a few months to Korea to follow up to the operation? It's not really necessary, but I would like to come here again so they can check up and see it's all okay and maybe see if I need a retouch or not. I think it will be perfect, so I will just visit them to see how amazing my jawline looks uh, so they can take pictures and be proud of their work. <laughs> Question number 11. Do you think it's best to have two procedures done at the same time or just one by one? For example, nose, jaw, etc. Well, it depends on what things do you want. Um, I remember that when I was doing my jawline, I have a, an, another patient that was my neighborhood. Uh, she did the jaw, the nose and the ears at the same time. So it really depends what you feel that you can endure. Uh, it is okay if you want to make three surgeries at the same time, really. And I think it's best because you do all the things at the same time and then you heal and you will be perfect in a shorter time than if you do one and then one and then one. It will be the more, much more shorter that way. Question number 12. What surgery are you going to get after this? Well. I'm going tomorrow to Los Angeles and in a few days I will, I will have my ears done. I will have my elf ears and a lifting. So yeah, having the surgery doesn't change the fact that I can do other surgeries while I, while I am healing this. And the last question, did you visit a lot of places while you were staying in Korea? What did you like the most? Well, yeah, I visited a lot of nice places in Korea. Uh, I visited the uh, Eunseul Tower. It was really nice. I really recommend you to go there if you came here to have a surgery. Uh, also, uh, Myeongdong is really nice place to buy things and have a coffee and eat nice and strange things. Uh, then I visited the palace. It's really beautiful in the mountains. Um, I also went to the Lotte Mall. I think that was my favorite part because it has a lot of beautiful shops and it, it's, it's like a mix between a mall and a theme park. So you will be amazing of all the things you can find there. This is the end of the Ask Me Anything. So if you have any more questions, just leave it in the comments below on Instagram and See you in the next time.